Well, I am uber, that's a big word, uber excited because in just a few minutes, we are going to be talking to Hillary Duff Live. Just six weeks ago, she got married. Hard to believe she's all grown up from her days as Lizzie McGuire, but since her role at Disney, she has three multi-platinum albums. She has a line of clothes with DKNY. She has a perfume called Love, and now a brand new book that we'll be talking to her about called Elixir. Hillary, welcome to Get Connected. Hi, Con. Well, Hillary, we're glad you're with us. My understanding is you just got to the studio. I know, I did. We've been, uh, we've been running pretty fast. <laughs> well, I know. I just saw you on the Today Show where you mentioned you have four dogs and two cats. How did you finish a book with all that chaos? You know what, the cats are pretty cool, but it was the dogs that sometimes, you know, they were there for a lot of it, but sometimes, like, the doorbell rings or the phone rings and one starts and then they all start, and you're just like, oh, I can't concentrate, you know? So they took a few trips down to my mom's house. But the cats, they were pretty involved, actually, in the process, stepping on my keys on my computer and stuff. Well, through all those obstacles, Hillary, congratulations on your first book. Thank you. Well, Hillary, as you know, your lead character's name is Clea. How did you come up with her? You know what? Um, it's funny. That was a tough process, was naming all the characters. And um, we were just trying to think of something unique and different. And um, we were thinking, Leia, I have a friend named Leia. And we kind of just went towards Clea. It doesn't seem that... Uh, common and that's what we wanted. The other character's name is Sage and that's very unique too so um, really when we were creating the characters and when I started creating them they didn't even have names so that process came kinda later. So clearly character development is very important to you. It's so, I mean it's the most important thing I think when you're reading a book you want to relate to the characters and they have to be unique you know and, and um, and that was one of the, the most challenging things, I think, about writing it. But also the story is very complex, and uh, it's about a young girl who is a photojournalist and travels around the world and has a life that's kind of in the spotlight. And she's on a mission to find her father, who disappeared on a humanitarian trip. And it's kind of a race against time to find this elixir of life, and she ends up finding her soulmate through this process. And uh, they realize they've been together lifetime after lifetime, and he's kind of haunting her photographs. So there's a little bit of mystery. There's like a lot of love and action, and uh, there's a lot going on. It's hard to explain in, in, in a few sentences. Well, there's one thing you can clear up. Is Sage considered a nice guy? Because I know us nice guys usually finish last. <laughs> you know what? The nice guy, um, He's a good guy, but I don't want to give too much away. There's a, there is a little bit of a love triangle going on because the person she travels the world with is her best friend, Ben, and obviously he's in love with her. And he's the nice guy, so he kind of finishes last. Dang it, Hillary. In your next book, the nice guys are going to have to finish first. Now, Cleo believes in love and lives in the moment. That seems to describe you, Hillary. <laughs> Yeah, it does. I mean, I tried to create a totally different character than myself because um, people know so much about me. <laughs> you know, it's like, do they need to know? Or is there anything more that people want to know about me? You know, it's, but clearly, you know, writing, writing a story about a character, parts of yourself seem to filter through. Well, I'm certainly glad it did make it into the book. And now Clea and Sage, you know, fell in love at first sight. Is that similar to the way you and your now husband fell in love? Yeah, you know what, Mike and I, um, when we met, it was love at first sight. We kind of have a different story there. Who hit on who, who talked to who first. Um, which it was still like a debate during the wedding in front of everyone, but um, uh, we started dating right away and we were, you know, nonstop for three years and, and we got married. So I think we bo both kind of knew when we met each other, like, whoa, you know, this person's, rocking my world. It was it was awesome. And that's not really the case with Clea though. She knows this guy is she's connected to him in a way, but she does get mixed signals and they have a very like push me pull me kind of relationship. All right, Hillary, you need to confide in us. 
Did you know that you had that awesome cliffhanger before you even wrote the book? Well, I knew that it's it's supposed to be a um, two book series, and hopefully, I I mean, I want it to to be more. I can see the story going on. Um, it's hard too. At the end, you're like, how many answers do I want to give away, and what do I want to save for the next book? You know, it's it's a, a little bit challenging. So I'm glad uh, you thought the ending was good. Um, but yeah. I knew, you know, that it was going to be a series. All right, Hillary. Now that I'm stuck on the cliff, please tell me you're already working on the second book. We start writing in uh, November. Well, that's music to my ears, Hillary. I cannot wait for the second book. And given all your success through all your journey through Hollywood and now this great book, what advice would you give to others living out their dreams? You know, um... <sighs> I hate to sound cheesy and, and state the obvious, but I am a girl from Texas who doesn't have any family in the industry, you know, and, and I had parents that supported me, but you got to go for it. you got to throw yourself out there and believe in yourself. And, and just like writing a book, like I didn't go to college. I didn't even go to high school. You know, I was homeschooled. And I had an idea, and I ran with it. And... Um, I think taking chances and putting yourself out there no matter what happens, you know, what the possibility is, you got to just like keep going and, and, um, and be strong. Hillary, that's great advice. Congratulations on the great book and thanks for joining us. Thank you, Khan. Thanks. Nice talking to you. Well, I'm definitely glad she took her own advice because we've gotten to enjoy her in the movies, TV, music, and now this great book. And I cannot wait for the second book. This one out, remember, is called Elixir. Make sure you get a great read. And I'm telling you, it's a good cliffhanger. She's quite creative. When we come back, we've got our big surprise, and you can win a trip to an exotic location when we come back.